This is the archetypical recipe from Puglia involving olive oil, um, chicory from the fields, and above all, the uh, fave, which are broad beans, dried, the half of it. A little bit difficult to find around, but um, in Italy everybody has them, and but you find a good sort of delicatessen that has them. They have been soaked overnight because they're very hard, and now I will cook them in water, putting some hot water here. My hot water is very hot. Up to a cream. Water. This is a fantastic recipe. Really, farmers, 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 contadini, peasants, the right type of peasant, when they know what they eat. And now I cook it until it becomes a sort of puree. But meanwhile, I show you what to do when we don't have the wild chicory that the Italians, the years ago, in the field and, and get it. I discovered it's slightly bitter and very good. It is the Belgian chicory, which I use in a very, very sort of funny way, braised and will accompany the puree. That's a really a fantastic dish. Very sort of coarse somehow, but fine and sophisticated at the same time, because you find it now in very good restaurants. Everything that was eaten by the farmers you find in restaurants now. <laughs> the Italian, they like the good taste of things and this is one of them. However, you find it only in the south. Unnecessary to look for it in the north. <laughs> and uh, for that we have the chicory cut in half. Yes. Then we put a little bit of garlic, which is omnipresent. That's why Italy is free of Dracula's. So about two or three cloves of garlic, olive oil, and we take the pugliese this time. And um, for this, we fry the oil, a little bit of chili, depending on your taste, you see. I like it not too hot. And above all, capers. In the best capers for me, they are salted one. And this you can find at Carruccio's naturally. They are uh, in salt, they are much more tasteful and they are not uh, vinegary. So you have to dissolve them however because otherwise they are too salty. And I dissolved them before and I put some, just a few minutes in water. I put some there. <clears throat> and then also one tomato. Usually in Puglia they use pomodorini, little tomato, little cherry tomato. I like them as well. Then you take the chicory, you look for the veins, like this. And a little bit of water. Because I don't have a big lid for a pan like that, I put this one and it breathes, it's very soft. So, meanwhile, the water, the water is falling here. Let's see. You will love the puree of this. I have to cook a little bit. No salt. The salt is already eaten by the um, cables and uh, just a little touch. 
because it would soon be become even harder. Now, this, after half an hour, <laughs> the um, broad beans, they have been reduced to a puree, and I added just a little salt and a garlic that I took away before the puree, just to have a little bit of flavor of that. And now I close it. The chicory is ready, wonderful as I want it. I have a plate, this one here. Ah, that's all the satisfaction when you, when you do something. And yes. The last touch, a little stream of extra virgin olive oil from Puglia. And there you are. In dialect in Puglia is called incapriata. This is a very peasant dish but so fantastic taste. This is a puree of broad beans and chicory, braised chicory, with a bit of chili and a bit of garlic. Perfect. It's a lovely combination of this. Try to make it, but don't forget Puglia olive oil on top. Buon appetito! <laughs>